Welcome to Rex to Riches, the journey where I start from nothing and everything that is free is off limits. What is the goal? Becoming the wealthiest man on earth. In the last video I robbed the bank and stole $100,000. I also attended the car meets and of course they had no chance. To top it all off, a car fell out of the sky almost crushing me. Hello guys, welcome back. And before you say anything, yes, I am cycling through the city of Los Santos right now. Let me explain. A couple of episodes ago, I found a bike and a half pipe while I was doing a mission. From that moment on, I knew I needed a bike. So I went on the internet and bought myself a brand new BMX. And if I tell you this is the greatest purchase of my life, you'll not believe me of course, but you haven't seen the video yet, so here we go. Okay, I just bought myself a bike and it can be delivered any moment now. While going to pick it up, I stumbled on this very inviting looking hole. That sounds pretty wrong, but I mean, it, it's a hole, yeah? Okay. Of course, I went investigating and while driving through some tight tunnels, I lost all control of my car and it ended up in a pretty awkward situation. You are not serious. I tried everything to get it out, but it wouldn't budge. So I had to leave it and run to the end of the tunnel. I accidentally beat a worker while getting an action figure and they weren't too happy about it. I finally saw light at the end of the tunnel and I really think my mechanic needs a race because he got my car out of there in seconds. Ok now, no distractions, drive straight to my garage, take the bicycle, go outside and my game crashed. Yo what the fuck. Ok, let's try that again. I'm not that good at biking but I found a lot of fun in jumping over people's cars and also into random citizens. I don't know, there's just something so wholesome about it. They're just chilling and BOOM! Bicycle in your face! Woo! I got to the skate park and after falling flat on my face a couple times, I managed to get some decent tricks. Oh, that was sick! Oh, like that! The hardest thing was actually getting the bike out of the pit. Yeah, how am I going to get out of this thing? I almost had it a couple of times. Yes! Oh, oh no, no, no! And then I finally made it out. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, we're out. Curious if this guy would get mad, I stole his bike, and he indeed got mad. He ran after me for a while to then run away like a pussy. I felt bad and made it my number one priority to give him his bike back. My methods may have been a bit too harsh as he got caught in a tragic accident. Oh my god! I tried helping him, but it was too late. He died. I don't know how to handle death, so I terrorized the city for a while. I wanted to rob a small shop on my bike, and after crashing into the door, I found nobody inside. The door is probably the best security they have here, because it wouldn't let me go. Oh, apparently my bike is not suited to pick up ladies, what a joke. Alright then, keep your secrets. While running from the cops, I jumped down in oh, the underground, no. oh. and to my surprise, there was nobody there. I don't know what I have with tunnels this episode, but yes, we're here again. A while later, I got back out of the tunnel, and this nice guy was waiting for me with a yellow Porsche. I jumped his car and then got in with him. He flexed on me real quick and then brought me to the weapon shop. First I bought an SMG, and then I bought this shotgun thinking it was a rifle. Oh that's a heavy shotgun? I didn't know. When going outside, my man was waiting for me, perfectly parked between the lines. I do really think he is hiding something though, because nobody is this friendly in GTA Online. What a legend. Next up, my apartment, because I spent way too much time biking, and that doesn't exactly earn a lot of money. Only 15 bucks dude, come on. But hey, at least we had fun. The second heist. It's called the prison break and it's pretty self-explanatory. We have to break a guy out of prison. But before we do that, set up missions, <laughs> kill me. I invited my guy Porsche man and we were off. For the first setup we needed to steal a plane and deliver it to the airport. After a very elegant entree, we killed some guys and I made a run for the plane. Taking off was a little hard, but I did manage. Of course someone died mid fly I swear to freaking god. But the second time I landed the plane perfectly in the hangar. Porsche man picked me up and on to the second setup. We drove back to my house and wait wait, what am I hearing? Oh la la. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just joking of course, but Borat would have been cool though. This next one is stealing a prison bus. And because I took quite a rough route, I got there later and my teammate had already stolen it. 
The guy driving accidentally got the bus stuck, and apparently GTA said it was destroyed. This time I was driving with Porsche man's car, and we did a little race against our teammates. He crashed his car. I couldn't say much though, because a while later I crashed too. But I did also kill the bus driver. We got rid of the cops and delivered the bus to where it had to be. Oh? Ah oh, no. Nice. Second setup complete. After the mission, I didn't see Porsche Man no more, so this time I had to drive myself. Here's a cool little stunt. Now we had to dress up like policemen and steal the bus schedule from the police station. To do this, we first got a wanted level by shooting on random people. Then we stole a police car. We pulled up to the station and walked in there very casual. Apparently, this lady is not drunk. I stole the schedule and we walked back to the car like nothing happened. After destroying the car, we drove back to my apartment and slapped the schedule on the table. Another setup complete. The only one left is killing a lawyer who has important documents. We had to get on a building and wait for a black car to pull up. I killed the first one and the other one got driven over. I slid down from the ladder and got in my car. While waiting for my teammate, someone took my door. How rude. All of a sudden, the whole street was filled with cops. So we drove through them and took them down one by one. I took the suitcase and we drove away. Now you might think we ended up here by poor driving and bad life choices. But no, this was all part of the plan. It allowed us to stay here, hidden from the helicopter. After losing the cops, we found out that the car was stuck. And in an attempt to steal another one, I didn't make it. We had to do it again, but this time I did it in first person. We shot the guys again, and this time we took a more aggressive approach. Go, 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 go! We got away and lost the cops. Again, I slapped the documents on the table, and now it's time for the real heist. Let me tell you, this one was not an easy job. And every time we tried it, something had to go wrong. We first had to drive to the bus. We drove inside the prison and now had to find Rashkovsky. We got to the yard with a small ladder and behind the wall we found him. Now we had to get him through this prison without something going wrong. I swear I experienced every possible way of this shit going wrong. Or the plane is destroyed, or the chopper didn't make it, or one of us dies in prison. It's always something dude. You know what they say, desperate times call for desperate measures. So I called up my friend Noah, and after accidentally selecting my bike, I came quick to realize he just made things worse honestly. Oh. <laughs> no dude, we have cops. Fucking Noah, dude! We tried it a couple more times, and then I had to go sleep. This, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. The very next day, I was determined to do this freaking heist. I still had my bike selected from last time, and on up arriving, I tried it again, and again, and again. And then my teammates left again. I decided to first buy me some snacks. And after that, a mother forced me and the whole lobby to Cayo Perico. I mean, what else can you do other than typing bad stuff about the mothers and dancing with the boys? In this attempt, we actually got pretty far, and because the vellum got destroyed and the team left me again, I stopped recording the useless time in between searching for themes, because I wanted to save some space on my PC. You can probably already tell what happened, as I forgot to turn the recording back on and finish the mission without recording it. This is the exact moment where I noticed I wasn't recording. I just finished the mission and I was so happy about it. And I wasn't recording.
probably one of the saddest moments in history, up there with the Titanic. We did the heist so clean and the whole time I couldn't believe we were actually going to make it. Moments like these really make you question your life choices. I did make 200k from it though, but it didn't feel good. I spent a long time staring out of my window and hating myself for it. But okay, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode just as much as me making it. A like is appreciated and I'll see you in the next one.